Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you more crock pot inspiration. You guys really seem to like my last video and I actually asked you guys to leave a comment and tell me what your favorite go-to crock pot recipe is. And I had so many of you send me amazing recipes. So I took three of them that I thought sounded so delicious and I recreated them this past week and y'all, they were amazing. So I have two great dinner recipes for you that are so simple and you guys are going to love them. Your entire family will love them and then I also have one dip recipe for you guys that was so simple and it was delicious I actually made it and took it to a party and everyone raved about it and I thought this would be a really great recipe to make right now with the holidays coming up this would be wonderful to take to a holiday party that you're gonna go to maybe as an appetizer so I'm really excited for you guys to see that recipe and all of these recipes they were so good so thank you to everyone who sent in your recommendations I have so many new crock pot ideas now and I can't wait to make all of them. Okay, so for our very first crock pot recipe, we're gonna be making Olive Garden crock pot chicken and pasta. Oh my goodness, y'all. When I saw this and I started reading the ingredients and saw like how easy it was to make, I said, Bunky, this is like the very first thing we have to make because I am so excited. My mouth is watering reading these ingredients. It's like right up my alley and it did not disappoint. So Jordan, thank you for sending this in. We loved it and we will definitely be making this on repeat. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, so for this recipe, it could not be any simpler. I already have my chicken here in the crock pot. We're gonna do one block of cream cheese. You're gonna do one bottle of this Italian dressing. That is for like a full size portion. We only have three small chicken breasts. So I'm gonna do about three fourths of this bottle and then leave the rest of it. You're gonna top it with some parmesan you guys know we like to do like the more powdery cheap one and then also like a little bit nicer one so i have both of those and then you're going to top that with some black pepper that is it it is so simple so i'm going to go ahead and get all of this in the crock pot it's about one o'clock now we're going to put this on high for four hours and then it will be ready around dinner time Okay y'all, so update on this crock pot recipe. First of all, it is amazing. Second of all, somebody need to go get a haircut. <laughs> Which by the way, looks so handsome. Thank you, Bonk. I mean, seriously, I'm like blushing over here, okay? <laughs> you know, all I do is grow it. <laughs> but anyway, so because Bunky had to go get a haircut, um, we kind of just like turned this off and let it sit so it got kind of thick. However, the flavor is so good. So, Bunky just added a little bit of milk. We're gonna add a little bit more. Yeah, just to thin it out a little. Yeah, so I went ahead and shredded the chicken. Okay, yeah. I keep wanting to put more and more milk and you, you don't. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I went ahead and shredded this chicken and then popped it back in. It's kind of thick, that's why we're adding milk because you're gonna put this over pasta. So we have our oh, water boiling. Yeah, we can put some pasta water in here too. Oh, that's a genius. That is genius, B. Thank you. That was actually a very good idea. I'm a classically untrained chef. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we are gonna boil our pasta and then we'll just like pop this over top of it. Like when I tell you the flavor of this is unreal, we cannot stop going in for it. Mm -hmm. I think we've gotten to a good consistency now. Yes, so if you um, don't leave yours unattended like we did, you'll be just fine the way it comes out. I still think it needs more milk. <laughs> okay, and I wanted to tell you guys too, like if you cook this on low, I think it will be better as far as like the cream cheese because just like my crock pot recipe last week, it curdled just a little bit, but then obviously like it blended right in. You can't even tell, it's just fine. Um, but I did cook this on high, so it was very, very hot. But y'all, this is so simple and I cannot explain to you how good this flavor is. I'm ready to put it over some pasta and get to it. I'm ready to get to it. There's like about a quarter cup of pasta water. Perfect, Play perfect. So you just noodles in? Uh-huh. This is gonna be a low noodle to scrumptious ratio, by the way. I know. Yeah, that was, that was good. That was probably not as much as I wanted, but. I think it'll be fine. It goes. Yes. So y'all, we did these, um, are they called rigatoni? Rotini. Rotini. What is rigatoni? <laughs> I, I don't even know, I made that word up. Anyway. No, rigatoni is, a, I think it is a type of noodle, yeah. Okay, well anyway, we did these because 
we feel like the corkscrew would kind of get all that sauce in there and like mm, just add some goodness to this yeah and then that pasta water is just going to help all that stick better. You know, I thought we weren't going to have enough pasta, but that's really it's perfect. quite the right amount. I'm trying to like get away from all the steam. Oh my gosh, this is going to be heavenly. Mm. It is heavenly. Well, let's get something to eat it with, like a bowl and a fork. Yum. Okay, y'all, so we're going to give you our review of this Crock-Pot meal, and for me, it was definitely like a 10 out of 10. I love it. It is, the flavor was just so incredible. I cannot get over it. Um, I will say it is very rich, like very, how do you say it? It's a very strong flavor. Very strong? I, oh, no, I know what it was. I feel like it has a lot more, um, it has a lot of tang. Like it like yeah because all of our dressing yeah like it gives you a little there's a little bit of tang in it yeah but and the cream cheese too I think does that it is so good this is definitely not a meal that you could eat every day like that's why I say whenever I say it's like rich like yeah I don't know how to, it's heavy uh -huh. but every once in a while if you want to indulge mm -hmm. it is so good it was so simple like I will definitely make this again I want to make it for like my family yeah because I think they will love it it would be good for a crowd. Yeah. And then you can have like something, like a light salad with it or something. Mm -hmm. I love this haircut, Bunky. Thank you. I mean, I can't, uh, you just look so handsome. Oh. Um. So anyways, this was so good, so simple. I said simple. Simple? Simple. <laughs> so simple, 10 out of 10 for me. I loved it. Bunky loved it. It was very good, yes. That's so good. And now on to our second recipe. We're going to be making taco rice. And you guys know we love tacos in this household. And anytime I can find a new way to make tacos, I am down for. And this sounded so good. And you guys know one of my favorite places ever is Chipotle. And I love getting a bowl. And so this has rice in there. It has your taco meat. It has beans and corn and all of the things that I love. Plus, we're going to add in taco sauce. And you guys know I love to make my own. It is so simple and it's so delicious. So reading this recipe, I was like, we definitely have to make this one. So I'm gonna flip you around, show you the ingredients, and then we'll get started. Okay, so for tonight's slow cooker meal, I'm gonna use Natty's recipe. She calls this taco rice and it sounds delicious. So we're gonna need some ground beef. I'm gonna go ahead and actually brown this and then pop it into our slow cooker after it's all the way cooked. You're gonna need some taco seasoning, um, some sort of like rotel or just diced tomatoes if you want that, some chicken broth, black beans, corn, and then some rice. It's all going to go in there. We're also going to top it with cheese and then I'm also going to add in my like red taco sauce that you guys know I always make. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this cooking and then we'll start assembling all of it. Okay, so I got my meat all cooked and I went ahead and drained off all of that grease. And then I added in about half of this packet of taco seasoning and we'll add in the other half to the actual crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a big stir and then we will pop this in the slow cooker. Okay, so I went ahead and sprayed my crock pot with some um, Pam. I'm gonna add in my taco meat. Next, you're going to add in one cup of either chicken or beef broth, whichever one you have on hand. We had chicken, and you want it to be like piping hot, so I just put this in the microwave for about two minutes. You're going to pour that right on top. Then you're going to sprinkle over about one cup of rice. I decided to use brown rice, but if you have white rice, whichever one you have will be just fine. Just kind of sprinkle it evenly. Next, you're going to add the rest of your taco seasoning. Then you're gonna add in one cup of corn. You can use frozen, you can use out can, whatever you have on hand. One can of black beans. Okay, and next I'm gonna add in my taco sauce. You guys see me make this all the time. If you never have, I will try and find a video and link it down below for you guys, but it's super simple to make. Or if you just wanna buy a jar of already made taco sauce, you can do that as well. I think some people call it picante sauce. Whichever you want to use, this is just to give it more liquid and more flavor. 
Okay, and that's it. We're gonna pop a lid on and cook it on high for about two hours, just until that rice is nice and tender. And then we'll add in our little can of Rotel as well as some cheese, and this will be done. Okay, so it's been just a little bit over two hours. That's only how long this took, so not long at all. And I took a bite of this a few minutes ago, and oh my gosh, y'all, it is so good. Like the flavor is insane. I think that taco sauce gave it just so much flavor, but it is so yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of Rotel in here and then also some cheese. Pop a lid back on for just a couple of minutes until that cheese melts and then it will be time to eat. Y'all, what is this goodness? Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta get a bowl and dig into this. Hmm, yes girl. Does this not look so good? Yeah. I'm ready to get seated and eating. Same. Okay, Bunky's gonna add some jalapenos to his. I'm gonna get some sour cream and, and chips. Some chips. I'm gonna eat a ton of jalapenos with this. Oh my goodness gracious. Tell me what you think. My immediate reaction is I really like it. Um, I really like the taco sauce in there, Bunky. Y'all. Which normally is not my thing, but I think in this, it's actually very good. Mm hmm and I really like the ratio of like the meat to the rice. It's not overly ricey. Mm -hmm. And the black beans are good in it too. And the corn, I mean, it's all very nice. And you know, I put your Rotel in like very last, like right under the cheese. Uh huh. Do you like it that it's like, it didn't like, it didn't like disintegrate in there. It almost just yeah. kept its whatever, just got warm. Yeah, there's more Rotel too. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I think. I love it. Like, I love it more than regular tacos. And whenever I make taco sauce, I'm only the one who ever eats it. Bunky doesn't ever eat it. But I'm telling you, that is what makes this so good. Like, it gives it the best flavor. Like, this is probably one of my favorite crock pot meals I've ever made. It is so delicious. Bunky, that's saying a lot. Come I'm on. I'm serious. Now. It is so, so good. And it didn't take long at all. I really like that beef and broccoli. Yeah, that was really good too. But this is delish. Mm. And that one time we made that pot roast thing, that was really good too, actually. Oh, okay. There's been a lot of good pot pot meals, but this one's really, really good, especially for like taco night when you want to do something a little bit different. Okay, y'all. So I might look a little bit crazy because tonight's actually Halloween and I have on like my makeup. Bunky and I are going to be like a dirty Santa present, if that makes sense. It came to me in the middle of the night. It's so random, but it's what we had in our closet. So hopefully it's gonna work out okay. I'm gonna be the present. Bunky's gonna be Dirty Santa. Not like dirty like that, but you know, Dirty Santa present, like the game. Anyway, we're actually going over to my parents' house. They're having a shower for my sister and it's like a couple's Halloween costume party. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. But my mom asked me to bring a few things to eat and I was trying to like think of what to bring. And one of you actually sent me the Chili's copycat um, queso recipe. And I thought that sounded so good. My mom actually loves their queso so I was like this will be a great recipe super simple I can make it in the crock pot and just take it with me so thank you Ashley for sending over this recipe I cannot wait to try it so I'm gonna flip you around and we're gonna get to making it okay so I've got out my little mini crock pot and I don't even know where we got this but it is the greatest thing it comes in handy for like all kinds of parties just when you want to make like a little dip or a little like something it's perfect for that but for this recipe you're gonna need one can of the Hormel no beans chili you're also gonna need some Velveeta. I have the Food Line brand, so whichever one you have will work just fine. You're also going to need some milk, and then you're going to want the juice of a lime, some cumin, chili powder, smoked paprika, and cayenne pepper. Like, y'all, I think this is going to be amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything in the crock pot. 
So I will of course have all of these recipes typed out down below for y'all in my description box, but you have to try this dip. It was such a hit. Everyone was raving about how delicious it was and y'all, it was so simple. It tasted just like the chili's queso, except for even better if you ask me. I will definitely be making this over and over again. And if you have a holiday party or get together coming up soon, I think you should totally make it as well. Your friends and family will thank you. And I almost forgot to even show y'all what it looked like once it was done. But luckily before we left the party, I did remember, does that not look so good? All right, y'all, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us in the kitchen. I hope you got lots of great crock pot recipe inspiration. Tag me in your pictures, send me a message, tell me what you think. I love hearing from you guys. And I think the joy of cooking is that we all do things just a little bit different. So I love hearing your substitutions, what you add in, what you do differently. I think it's so much fun and it gives me so many great new ideas. So tell me which one you love most. Leave me a comment down below and tell me something you're really excited about cooking for your family this week. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next one bye y'all